Now, let's load our first asset. Scroll down in your code window until you see the method called protected override void load content. This is another method created automatically by XNA Game Studio. This method is called, that is, activated, when the game starts. Its job is to load all of the necessary assets, like the ones you added, into code objects that can then be used while the game is running. This is where we will load our background texture asset. Below the line, sprite batch equals new sprite batch, add two new lines, and then type the following. Background texture, equals content dot load open angle bracket texture 2d close angle bracket open parenthesis quotes capital sprites backslash backslash background quotation close parenthesis, semicolon. You'll recognize the name of the class we declared, background texture. We are assigning it using the equal sign, and we're assigning it to content.load. Load is a method that belongs to the content manager class, and we're calling it using the dot after content. We identify the type of content we're loading inside the greater than, less than signs, and then we're passing an argument to it. This argument is a string of text that identifies what asset to load. Notice it has the name of the sprite subfolder and the name background, which is the name of background.tga, just minus the extension. This call will take the background.tga asset, load it through the XNA framework content pipeline, and turn it into a texture 2D code object. Once we have that code object, we can draw it, which is what we're going to do next. If you're ready, continue to the next step.